Rio de Janeiro, home of Brazil's second largest metropolitan population, has become a popular tourist destination because of its beaches, climate, and cultural events. Located along Brazil's east coast, Rio is recognized as one of the world's most beautiful cities. The waters of the Atlantic Ocean and Guanabara Bay provide a sparkling backdrop for the city, while coastal mountains and hills dot its landscape. The sugarloaf landmass and the soaring statue of Christ the Redeemer atop Mount Corcovado provide iconic emblems for the city. Rio de Janeiro's roots and traditions perhaps are shown best through the world-renowned Carnaval Festival held annually before Lent. Rio's celebration is recognized as the world's largest Carnaval Festival. The festivities include music, pageants, parties, and street parades filled with vibrantly costumed dancers performing to samba rhythms. In Brazil, Carnaval mixes the Roman Catholic traditions of Lent observed by the area's European settlers with influences from those of African descent, such as Samba. Samba schools perform a vital role in the celebration of Carnaval, providing dancers, costumes, and floats. Rio's Samba schools are among the most extravagant, mostly due to the parade they hold on the Copacabana beach. The vibrant scene on Rio's famous Copacabana and Ipanema beaches also played a role in the creation of Bossa Nova, one of Brazil's great musical contribution. It was in Rio's prosperous beach communities in the late 1950s that Antonio Carlos Jobim and João Gilberto pioneered this fusion of samba rhythms and cool jazz. Bossa Nova's best-known song, Girl from Ipanema, instantly evokes images of the beach. Ironically, the world first heard the music through its use in the film Black Orpheus, a tale set among the impoverished residents of the shanty towns of Rio known as favelas. Standing in stark contrast to Rio's skyscrapers and modern city center, Favelas are comprised of makeshift structures, often without adequate systems of electricity, water, or waste disposal. During the mid-20th century, the migration of Brazilian citizens from the country to cities such as Rio led to the rising demands for land and an increased cost of living. As a result, many of these new inhabitants constructed their homes on the only available land, which usually meant the undesirable steep hillsides on Rio's periphery. At the beginning of the 21st century, Rio held as many as a thousand favelas, responsible for housing 20% of the city's population.